In 2016, I was really ill with what we thought was pneumonia. I had a bunch of tests done, finally got to a diagnosis of phrenic nerve paralysis or diaphragm paralysis on my left side. Even getting dressed in the morning could be a struggle. You'd find myself winded, uh, going up and down the stairs. Normal activity for someone I found was hard for me. There's no treatment available in Canada. Basically, they told me there's not much they can do for me. Phrenic nerve reconstruction is a procedure that we developed in 2007. It's a surgery that aims to correct the diaphragm muscle. When that nerve is injured, it leads to dysfunction of the diaphragm muscle that leads to difficulty breathing with that side of the lung. I had a left side phrenic nerve reconstruction about a year and a half ago, I started to have some of the symptoms and I was feeling very fatigued. We were uh, somewhat surprised to find that after a year or two, his symptoms had returned. And so this is one of the rare occasions where we see a relapse of the problem. And so the goal is again to go in and try to reverse the problem and get his diaphragm functioning again. Dr. Kaufman, I feel, has saved my life the first time, and even though we've had a bit of a hiccup with the relapse, I know he can do it again. For this second revision procedure, we're going to be doing certain things that are the same and a couple of things that are different or new. One will be to go in and release the scar tissue that we presume has built up around the nerve and led to the nerves not functioning. This time around, we're going to take some extra precaution to prevent future scar tissue or prevent future inflammation. We're going to take tissue from the chest and bring it up into the neck in a way to enhance the blood flow around the nerve and prevent the opportunity for scar to return. They took a nerve from my leg and put it in my neck to get me rewired, if you will. I'll spend generally one night in the hospital and he'll be in New Jersey for approximately four or five days before he can travel home. Really in about two or three weeks, he'll, he'll be through the first part of his recovery. We've had patients visit us from every continent in the world except for Antarctica. Many patients that thought they would never have an opportunity to recover their breathing function have been helped. I'm just over two weeks post-surgery. Uh, I'm feeling great. I'm sleeping better. I have more energy. Um, my lungs don't feel heavy. Uh, hopefully we can get out to more people who have these symptoms and get them the help they need.